Hello. So I just went into Ulta. Let me take my mask off, actually. Got some stuff. It's the most random stuff. I kind of went in there for something specifically. One of the things that I went in there for is the um, ColourPop Hyaluronic Setting Mist. Yeah, Hyaluronic Setting Mist. And it has like coconut water in it and it's actually like really, really good before your makeup and I sometimes do it after my makeup. Another thing I went for is the Ulta Beauty Plumped Lip Pout Lip Gloss. So I've gotten this before and it was very, um, it was like really effective, honestly. It actually did plump up your lips a lot and it was like very like tingly. Um, so yeah, I got it again. The only thing that I wish it wasn't was like a little sticky, a little bit thicker than I would want it to be, but the thing is is that it works, so that's why I like it. One of the things that I didn't necessarily go in there for, but I definitely need, it's the Kenra Thermal Styling Spray. Um, so it's like a firm hold, heat activated spray. But I always use the Kenra Blow Dry Spray because of the smell. The Kenra blow dry spray smells so amazing. I ran out of that stuff, but I wanted to try this stuff because it says it's long lasting firm hold for up to 60 hours, which I think they're exaggerating. So this doesn't really smell like the other product that I really love, but it doesn't smell bad. It kind of just smells like any other, um, Hair product I guess the LA girl pro conceal high definition concealer I don't even know how many times I've seen people use these I'm just gonna try these out and see if they're actually like really good but um, yeah a ton of people use these um, a lot of people like them so I'm gonna see if those actually are nice so the last thing that I got was like a mini package of the Becca Hydra Mist um, setting powder. I have seen people use this and apparently they like really like it. Because it's apparently hydrating, moisturizing setting powder, which doesn't really make sense if it's a powder, but we're just, I'm... I'm gonna see how it lays on the face. Yeah, that is basically my little Ulta haul. Pretty sick. Sick. Oh, okay, on the back it's got his girlfriend. That's kind of cute. Has anybody ever seen this Daisy Marc Jacobs commercial? Because it reminds me of Midsummer. If you've ever seen Midsummer and you've ever seen this commercial, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's creepy. Okay, I will see you guys back at my apartment. Um, okay, love you, bye. Okay, so I'm back now. Um. Still drinking my water because I've been reminding myself to drink more. I take big gulps every time. Okay, I am going to self tan. I feel like this lighting makes me look a lot tanner than I am, so I kind of like it. I'm really not that tan in person. That's so weird that it's like on camera coming like that. There's sirens going off right now, so I gotta kind of wait for the. Oh my goodness. I swear there is always sirens when I'm trying to talk or film or maybe I just only notice it like when I'm trying to do something. But this right here is the new Bali Body Clear Self Tanning Mousse and I'm so happy they came out with this because I sometimes just feel like the tan can transfer some places and apparently this has zero transfer so I'm actually going to test that out because I'm wearing white shorts and this gets on my white shorts. I'm gonna be very disappointed. I sounded like Miranda Priestly, like in the Devil Wears Prada when she's like, I'll be very disappointed. I have not used this yet, so I'm very curious to see like what it even looks like coming out. I'm sure it's just like a clear foam. Okay, so I was right, it does come out completely clear. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it. Like, I don't even know how else to explain it, but I mean, as you can see, it is not looking like anything right now. Since this is completely clear, you definitely have to like really work it into your skin so that it comes out flawless in the end. I'm gonna apply some to my chest area as well. Okay, so 
it basically smells like the same um other products that they have it has a really clean smell but i'm kind of wondering what all this has in it ingredients wise because i'm always looking at ingredients lately um to see if it's good for my skin it's almost like the older you get you actually do pay attention to this stuff which makes me feel like i'm getting old but then again i'm only 21 years old so this has coffee seed extract it contains potent 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 antioxidant properties making it a powerhouse for keeping the skin appearing youthful it has palm ooh, it has pomegranate extract rich in vitamin c and packed with antioxidants amazing for fighting signs of aging and promoting a youthful glow which i don't know if you guys can see but it actually did give me like a little bit of glow so i really like that coconut oil rich in medium chain fatty acids which help retain the moisture content of your skin while helping it look and feel silky smooth i think um i washed this off after about four hours so hopefully I look really tan and like I just came back from a vacation. I'm really hoping that this stuff really develops. I will check in with you guys to see exactly how it looks after that. This stuff is still my favorite self tanner ever. Um, this is the Bali Body One Hour Express. And I really do love this pump a lot better than what's on the um, clear self tanning mousse just because it's I don't know it's just a cooler pump um it's really easy to use so so far this definitely is still my favorite self tanner i use it every single time that i self tan now especially because it is a one hour express it's very convenient to use we're just gonna see how this actually is i do like that it is clear so there really will be zero transfer I'm probably going to end up keeping this on for as long as I can and probably showing you guys the results tomorrow I'm very curious to see how this is gonna turn out so okay so it is currently the next day and I have washed this off completely so it's really hard for me to choose which one I like better because this one does not transfer whatsoever like I'm telling you right now like this does not transfer I have white sheets okay and I find myself having to wash my white sheets if I ever sleep in self tanner but this does not get on your sheets like at all I was so impressed by how much it developed but yet it literally didn't get on my sheets or like white clothing okay so I broke it down and I basically love still love the one hour express only because it's really convenient you only have to wait an hour or two um and also like it's really easy to apply it blends out perfectly and also the other pump i really 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 like the other pump but this you're wanting to sleep in your self tanner highly highly suggest this this actually has zero transfer so if i really want that deep dark tan like i have right now it literally looks like i just got back from vacation so i'm super super happy with the color the color that it gave me is beautiful it's not too brown it's not too orange or red it literally just has all the undertones that you would want your skin to look like honestly Bali body has seriously impressed me so much their products smell clean it doesn't smell gross um the color is just like so natural looking it just looks not in a sense where you're not going to get the color that you want like it looks like you don't have self tanner on today i was able to wear like a darker foundation because i did self tan that is one of my main um like indicators is if like the tan like develops dark enough can i wear a darker foundation like can i wear the foundation that i wear in the summertime when i have at least just a little bit of color i feel super confident so i'm so happy about that okay so right now i am literally just home alone because my dad is at work and his wife is doing something so I am literally just chilling here alone and what better thing to do when you go home to your parents is to raid their fridge so that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now I feel like usually they don't really cook a lot so I can't wow this is a lot of lemon juice do you see that? they like lemon juice they like lime I'm gonna eat kimchi so if you've never had kimchi it's basically like fermented or like pickled cabbage 
and it's way better than it sounds it's not for everybody but it's actually like my favorite thing ever so yeah this is what kimchi is and it's literally the best thing ever so like my dad always has kimchi in the fridge like always it's apparently a probiotic which i don't know what that means but it sounds healthy to me so so i didn't even think anything of it to like show you guys this drawer but because it's like so it's so normal to me that he has this drawer and it's like the asian food stash drawer and i'm going to show you guys what it looks like okay so basically we got the little microwave right here and <laughs> there is just so many I don't even know what I don't even know what that is, but literally so much. Like look at this. He gets premium smoked oysters and just eats all of it. Like there's literally so much. We got some soy sauce. We got sesame seeds. Sesame seed oil. My favorite seaweed, might honestly have one of them. Tofu miso soup, <laughs> Korean barbecue sauce. Like I am telling you this thing is filled with Asian food. It's so funny and honestly, like every single time that I come here, I just, I raid this drawer. Get you a dad that literally just gets all of, all of this goodness. It's so good besides Maybe the smoked oyster. It's literally candy land to me. I don't even have that much of a sweet tooth anymore. Like, I just like the Asian food and sushi, and that's about it. Y'all right, really want to know what I eat in a day? I can never give up chips. How can anybody not eat these? Like, this has practically turned into like a mini mukbang. But look how beautiful. Hello, so I have just done my makeup for the day. So yeah, I did try to film it and it just didn't work out. It kept on cutting out because my camera was like overheating. I don't even know like for what reason. Dude, I swear, my hair, <laughs> let me just show you guys. All the way down my back. Like, I need to do something about it. I need to cut it. I'm really, really tempted to. Let me like zoom you guys out a little bit actually. Like bro, the springtime, summertime's coming up and I cannot deal with this hair anymore. It's like, okay, well, first of all, I need to get it thinned out because it's too thick right now, that's for sure. Who knows, you guys might see me in my next vlog, just, I'm just joking, I would never do that. That's, I guess, my dilemma for the day. Um, how's your day going? But I did want to show you guys like the products that I use on my face today because I pretty much love every single thing that I got from Ulta besides maybe I could just live without the Kenra, what is it, the styling spray. Um, yeah, seems almost just like a hairspray to me, like... It smells like a hairspray too, so I'm pretty sure it is a hairspray. The Kenra Blow Dry Spray is 100 times better than what I just got. Honestly, I would just get the Blow Dry Spray. It smells like heaven. But yeah, as I said in the beginning of this video, um, the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist, so good. Um, I think I've, I've already had this like twice now, so this is my third time repurchasing it really really love the stuff before and after my makeup which is what i actually did today this stuff too um this is the plumped up pout lip gloss so this is by ulta beauty um and this is basically a lip plumper tingly product that goes on your lips um it does work though like i can feel my lips getting just a little bit more like plush plumped up um yeah like this stuff is is pretty good this i just got to try out like the past like whenever i got it obviously but yeah i just tried these out um and i can say i have been wearing these every time i've been doing my makeup the last few days so amazing the coverage is insane and yet it doesn't crease it isn't like cakey either it's really hard to explain like Honestly, just try these out for yourself because like I think they're like four dollars at Ulta Yeah, I just got a light color and then a darker color to 
conceal highlight and contour that is also what I use today but these two like you need to be pretty light-handed with it a little bit goes a long way which is also why i think like it's amazing because you only need a little bit and then last but not least this is probably my favorite setting powder now like this is the i'm so mad that it's from becca because it's pretty expensive not cost friendly at all but the becca um hydra mist set and refresh powder which is also what i used today when i said i was confused about the whole moisturizing aspect um concept of this powder still a little bit confused but now that i've used it i know what they're talking about but i still can't really explain like it's so weird i really 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 like it and it's super light on the face i'm very very impressed with this stuff so go get it if you are looking for any of these items makeup items other than that, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow my Instagram. I'll have all my socials listed down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next vlog. Okay, bye.